Florida Keys, hurricane season is amongst us and it's going to be a busy one. Today we're showing how to build a portable solar generator. With a solar generator, you won't have any gas or any propane that you'll have to go and find and stand in those long, long lines to get it. If they even have any gas or propane left, this will eliminate all of that. If we have a hurricane, as soon as the sun comes out, you're back up and running. Plug refrigerators into it, plug freezers into it, save all those lobsters, any other food you have. Of course, this is amazing for hurricane season, but you can use this all year long. You can plug tools into it. You can take it to job sites. It doesn't cost you any electric. It's all free. It's solar power from our beautiful sun. <laughs> Cut boards. It all begins here with our solar panels. This is what collects the energy from the sun. The purpose of the solar generator is to convert this energy into usable electricity. The nice thing is the way we set these up is completely portable. In fact, these panels are just simply setting on some cool lounge chairs that have wheels that make it very easy for us to pick them up and move them around. Now they're not tilted at the optimum angle, but you can see our other videos that we have on building a portable mount for your solar panels. We're gonna hook these two panels up in series. That will double the voltage that comes out of them and it keeps the current the same. Your voltage times your current equals the total watts. When you hook them up in, in series like this, you double the voltage. If you hook them up in parallel, you double the amperage. So it depends on your need and the ratings of the equipment that you're passing electricity to. To hook these panels up in series, we simply plug the positive from one panel to the negative side of the plug from the other panel. These are snap-in plugs. I'll show you how they work. So once you have those plugged in, you have a remaining male and female side, one coming from each panel. I use um, black and red solar panel wire, wires to make it easy to tell the difference between your positive and your negative side. These are really easy to make yourself. I buy the wire in a spool, and there's plenty of YouTubes out there on how to build these solar cables. It's really quite easy. To plug those into your leads that are gonna to go to your solar generator, again, you put the male into the female, snap and click, and same thing for the other side. We're now wired and ready to go. Incidentally, one of the nice things that makes these so portable is the ease of disconnecting these and moving these around. All it requires is this simple tool that comes with your connector kit. You simply slide this on the connectors and they snap apart. So it's very easy to take this equipment apart, move the panels around, making it totally portable. Snap it back together. Okay, now we have our leads heading into the solar generator. Let's go have a look. The power from our solar panels come in through the red and black wires here. And the first thing they encounter is what we call a PV disconnect switch. This switch allows you to turn off the incoming DC power from the solar panels. It's really important to be able to isolate that energy from the system when you need to do maintenance on the system. From the DC switch, these wires bring the power into the charge controller. The charge controller is the brain of the system. It yeah. manages charging the batteries, which is really important and it does it in an intelligent way. If you have a, a good charge controller, such as a rich solar here, it will monitor the condition of the batteries and stop trying to charge it once the batteries are fully charged. Here we're using SOK 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium batteries. We have two, they're wired in parallel. So we have wires connecting the red terminals and the black terminals together. The inverter, which takes the DC power from the battery and converts it into 110 volt AC power. We have a positive wire connecting a positive terminal of one of the batteries to basically a, a, an isolator switch. It's a simple switch to isolate the batteries from the inverter. That's also important. But furthermore, this switch goes through a fuse over here on the side. 
This provides overload protection for your inverter and also protects the batteries. Okay, the inverter, this is a 110 watt um, Krager inverter. These are great little units. I've used these on a couple projects. And as you can see, once you have your inverter on, you can plug your appliances directly into two 110 ports here, providing power for whatever you want to, uh, to use your, your solar energy for. So that's the system in a nutshell. It's very simple. Solar panels routed through a charge controller, which charges your batteries and provides power to an inverter, which you can use to run your appliances. Now, as your power needs grow over time, you can add more batteries. You can add a larger inverter and, and a larger charge controller if you add more solar panels. So the whole system can grow and you can swap out components as needed. To demonstrate just how portable these systems are, we're gonna take this off the wall and move it over into our camper since we're heading out on a trip. And then I'll use this solar generator for the camper. All we had to do was unclip the two wires coming from the solar panels, take off our battery cables, and, and take the ground wire off the bottom of the inverter. Now we're good to go. Pop off a couple screws. And we have a portable solar generator ready for the next site. Now I will just sit back and enjoy the cool fan from our portable solar generator. No gas needed, no electric needed, just powered by the sun. Wonderful fan. Thank you. Thank you for watching and if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel and we also have our GoFundMe site.